Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone let me introduce myself my name is Idrus Nasoha and today I would like to discuss about the material of the introduce of psycholinguistic is the models and history in language learning and this approach to language learning is the design in starting the teaching the teaching of a subject that gives direction and features to his methods of teaching and it's based on related assumptions learning methods are the procedures sequence and steps the first method is the audiolingual method the audiolingual method was all too much for drill the method arose because the long was involved in learning the language of the target whereas for the certain purpose it needs language mystery quickly in an audience based on that structural approach the language stock is poured out on words and the training of sentence patterns multiple times teachers ask students to repeat themselves until there are no mistakes the second method is the communication methods purposeful design of communicative talk should include all language skills each purpose is organized into learning each study is shifted into the concrete purpose that is the final product a product here is intended as an information that can be understood written enunciated or presented into non-linguistics a letter is a product so to a comment a message a report or a map is also a visible and observed product in this way they are produced by successful job completions for example deliver a message to others that fits the purpose of the learning the third method is the productive method the productive methods are directed at speaking and writing the student must speak much or pour his or her ideas down Using productive methods, it is hoped that students can pour ideas from in their minds into rifling speaking and writing skills. Although conveyed by means of a communicative language, the communication here is about the response of the person. When we talk to people, we are listeners. When we write to those, we are readers. The fourth is direct methods. A straightforward method of assuming that learning a good language is learning that directly use language in communication. The aim of direct methods is the use of language orally so that students can communicate naturally like Indonesian use in society. St students are given ex exercise to associate sentence with meaning through direct demonstration and movement and mimics all right the next topic is the history of learning language the history of learning language is development is a process that involves a person deliberately acting actively in a specific action directed in specific situation and conditions that results in response to a stimulus in learning development in the human intelligence can occur in various lives and in many areas in the learning development educational field can be manifested through the interaction between learners the interaction between learners and teachers the interaction between learners and words the interaction between teachers and follow teachers the interaction between the teachers and the community around the world the development of learning of a person involves the process of thinking in building and developing a dialogue through the interplay of inquiry through to create an effective and conducive atmosphere of learning in a particular space that requires one in a capacity as a teacher and which is expected to act as the teacher in such a way that the learning process of the learner in the class seems effective 
and conducive.